SSRS. A round of applause till he gets to the podium, please. Please keep the clapping going. Sheyada! The uh, vote of thanks to Dr. Remya Yodele give seems to me like uh, it was uh, an history lesson, but I know why. The tenor of our local government service commission to a fair hand. So one will be about as a very new Allah Ashe. Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of your State and Deputy National Chairman South. <coughs> for the People's Democratic Party, Ambassador Taufik Arapaja. Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of your State, Engineer Amit Gwadamasi. Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of your State, Alaji Azim Gwadarumi. Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of Oyo State, Chief Moses Alake Adeyemo, the Honorable Speaker, Right Honorable Adebo Ogundoyi, and other Honorable Members of Oyo State House of Assembly here present, the Chief Judge of Oyo State, Honorable Justice Yabo Yerima, and other Members of Oyo State Judiciary, her present. The SSG Head of Service, Deputy Chief of Staff, former Head of Service, Egbogbo Enyo Riyade Onu Leke, Ti Ewa Nikale, Emo Kinyo Kabi Ezeo, The GOC, Two Division Nigerian Army, ably represented by the Garrison Commander, Brigadier General H.I. Dasuki. Oyo State Commissioner of Police, CP Shonubi Ayodele, and all our other service commanders here present, our Honorable Commissioners, especially the Honorable Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Matters. Oyo State Elders Council, uh, let me use the chairman and the co-chairman uh, as the point of contact. The local government uh, chairman and chairpersons, let me use the Honorable Sikiru Sunda as the point of contact. Other political functionaries, heads of federal ministries and parasitas here present. Any, <coughs> excuse me. Any colleague you are, colleague me, the permanent secretaries, at the general managers. Without you, nothing will go in this secretariat. And you never know your governor. You want to know governor. You have to me. So, I will let you know that I will allow you to be in 2027. Distinguished leaders of our great party, PDP, that are present here. Elijah uh, Abbasi Adedibu. Alaji Wasi Adeleke, the State Secretary. Uh, let me also specially recognize the National President General of a National Union of Local Government Employees, Norge, 
ably represented by Vice President General Comrade Abimbola Babalola and other national and state ESCO members of Norge here present. Our religious leaders, uh, about Chief Imam of Ibadan Land, ably represented by Dr. Barry Adetunji, Count Chairman of your state, Apostle Joshua Akiyamiju, and the Araba Awo of Ibadan Land, Emuki Gogoyo. Uh, let me also specially recognize the presence of my mother, Mama Elizabeth Akinyele, Emokinyi Mama. Thank you so, so much for being part of this. Uh, Professor Mole, Elijah Sidika Daderibigwe, Professor Temito Kualongi, and other prominent personalities there present. Uh, President General, Central Council of Ibadan Indigenous, Barista Sulaiman Ajeni Yajewale, and other prominent associations and groups here present. Uh, labor union leaders, community leaders, market leaders, professional bodies and associations, and groups. Uh, gentlemen of the press, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, this uh, commission today of this uh, local government uh, service commission and staff pension board buildings is the very definition of it is better late than never. Uh, this commission is, <clears throat> should have happened before now. I think the building was ready for commissioning for January this year, but the January 16, 2024 explosion in Bodija area uh, affected the building. So we have to do some remedial work to put the building back in shape. And now it is ready. I'd like to use this opportunity to uh, thank uh, the UI Ventures. Uh, this is a classic case of uh, a collaboration between the government and the academia. Anyway, and you know, let me SSG, what I tell so. Let me also thank the Nigerian Society of Engineers. After the explosion, you know, they went around, they were uh, carrying out integ integrity tests on buildings uh, that were affected. So when they presented the report, we knew exactly what we had to do to put this uh, building back uh, in shape. So I want to say thank you. Uh, first and foremost, this building will provide a more conducive environment for your state local government workers to enhance their productivity. I remember before we came into office in 2019, I came to this secretariat to see if I could find a new building anywhere, but it was not uh, readily available. I saw one, I mean, I have to be honest, uh, it a mineral development uh, agency, Timowa. Uh, but uh, if you can't get uh, what you want, you want what you get. So uh, even right now, as we speak, a lot of the buildings are in a dilapidated state because they have not been maintained. We'll see how much maintenance we'll be able to do before we finish this tenor. Because it's actually a shame. Some people built this uh, secretariat. And for us, it is uh, to maintain it. Even we have portals inside uh, the secretariat, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, if you 
go to some of the uh, roads inside the Secretariat. This is the building behind us, the Water Corporation building. See, our local government service uh, uh, people, to know what? before we came in, before this uh, edifice. I know today you must move into this place. If you look at the building, even paint, the girls in what paint. I want to have uh, 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 Honorable Commissioner for Local Government and Chief Transit Matters, so, uh, at the uh, co Honorable Commissioner for Land. Also, uh, this building is about the best, minus the uh, governor's office. One baby more than you. Well, this building is a start of the renovation of the buildings within the Secretariat and turning our Secretariat into where productivity will reign supreme. What I refer to as an irony is the fact that it is the same local government that people are going around town saying, ah, Sheyi Makinde is trying to destroy the local government administration. Well, is it not ironic that uh, uh, this building that we have built is the first modern building for the local government uh, family to stay in? She the buffet destroy Nka. We want not destroy any. But if that is the way to destroy something, we will continue to do this kind of a thing so that uh uh Rinka can summon Igoro. Let me say this, in a country where there's a trust deficit between the leaders and the led, it is no wonder that some people will always take advantage of situations to fan the flames of disunity or choose to push unintended narratives and perceptions. If we look at the trajectory of this administration. I remember, as I was being sworn in, in 2019, I said, okay, well, from this point forward, on the 25th, the workers are my salary. Whoa, so anything, for me, the only thing they said, yeah. I want to share really, a job for one year. Okay, one year, law, two years, law, three years, law, four years, law, five years, law. Five years, law. Oh, and, uh, okay, salary payment, only achievement. As I said in my broadcast yesterday, we must always remember who our real enemies are, so that we do not turn against our friends. Um, well, I'm still here to repeat myself unequivocally. I am not against elected representatives of the people carrying out their constitutional duties. But what I will speak up against is anyone trying to create a constitutional lacuna where none exists, or to turn one arm of government against the other. Here in Oyo State, under my watch, we will continue to make decisions that will bring the full benefits of democracy to the good people of Oyo State. And we are aware of the role that the local government authorities have to play in ensuring that democracy and its dividends reaches people at the grassroots. By design, this is supposed to be the function of the local government areas. But in practice, 
there have been several factors that have militated against local government areas achieving this goal. When I came in just now, and the Norgay uh, 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 president representative also said, look, you have uh, uh, ad hoc staffs. They are pleading that because uh, about 2,000 of uh, uh, local government uh, workers have retired and they have not been replaced. Let us uh, convert uh, some of these uh, uh, ad hoc staff to, uh, uh, to permanent uh, employment. Even with the autonomy, there will still need to be coordination. I wonder if you take this to Abuja, if the coordination is from the federal government, how they will handle this. And if you say each local government, you go and employ uh, amongst those uh, uh, people, their priorities may be different. They may see things only from their own narrow uh, perspective. Who uh, cares in your state if a road is constructed by the local government or by the state government or by the federal government? Just construct road for people to pass on. That is what people are interested in. So we will continue to work and coordinate with the local government so that our vision at the state, we can also sell to the administrators at the local government level. And when there's synergy, we can achieve more. So for the ad hoc staff, since we still have the control to take decisions, which I'm sure the local government people, they will gladly uh, accept. you will be converted. So I'll give the uh, Commissioner for Local Government uh, and Chief Justice Matters about four weeks to follow due process, interview the people, the ones that you find that uh, they can be employed, let us employ them so that we can at least bridge that gap. There will be challenges. That is the truth. We have been able to identify some of these challenges. And some of it, uh, people have mentioned. When we came in in uh, 2019, we met a local government system that was owing salaries, pensions, and gratuities. For primary school teachers, their leave bonuses were last paid in 2017 when we came in in 2019. The same thing, primary healthcare facilities, primary schools, and inner roads, they were all in a bad shape. But uh, for the uh, uh, primary school teachers, we paid their leave uh, bonus for 2017, we paid 2018, we paid 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023. So we have to figure out uh, a way of reducing this deficit. And we won't uh, uh, play games with anybody because it's our own people. So we insisted that first line items must be drawn against the local government accounts. It was a homegrown way of ensuring that outstanding salaries, pensions, and gratuities are paid. And so we have to figure, uh, so insisting that those uh, first line uh, items should be, uh, uh, should be taken out. We have paid backlogs up to over 18 billion Naira uh, in uh, pension. Uh, we've also paid uh, some uh, retirees, you know, their gratuity. They've been paid over 15 billion. And I make bold to say 
those people criticizing us, please criticize us by, by all means, but criticize us constructively. If you have a better solution, please bring it forward. The solution that we provided, I've just uh, mentioned to you the results that it has yielded to us. So if you have a better solution, it is our state, it is our country, and it is our people. We will listen to you. And I'm still saying before you and the entire world that those of us in this administration, we're not the most intelligent around here. And we're also human. So if you challenge us, but don't do so with politics in mind. Don't do so because you want to bring down the, uh, uh, the house. We have worked collaboratively with the local government uh, uh, council to upgrade 209 primary health care centers and equip 264 uh, PHCs. We've completed about 60 model schools and constructed and renovated hundreds of primary school classrooms through the uh, uh, Ohio State uh, Suburb, their intervention projects. Yet, when you see the state of most schools in Ohio State, you will realize it is not even, uh, it's like a drop in the ocean. We have a lot more to do. And the key is productivity, productivity, and productivity. What we're sharing in uh, Abuja, very limited. When people say, oh, uh, governors, they've collected this uh, much uh, FAC, we've paid uh, uh, this. In real purchasing power parity, what are we talking about? When they started this project, I can't remember whether it was 400 million. I can't remember. But I commissioned uh, uh, an hotel yesterday, the Jags, who were there uh, uh, yesterday. And I was asking the guy, how much, wh what is the total value of this investment? And he said, about 8 billion naira and uh, uh, 6.5 million dollars. I said, okay. That 8, million, na 8 billion naira. You started 21 months ago, because one year ago, one year and four months ago, dollar was dollar to naira was about 470 uh, naira to the dollar. So if you have five billion naira at that time, that is 10 million dollars. But today, 10 million dollars is a 17 billion naira. So what is the solution forward? The solution is we must be productive. And we must, we must not just focus on import substitution. Okay, you have, uh, uh, we're uh, importing this much rice. So let's, uh, 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 let's uh, support our farmers so that we don't import rice anymore. Okay, good. We will conserve some foreign exchange. That is the beginning, but that is not the solution. The solution is we must export. When you export, you earn foreign exchange that can help your economy. They built cocoa house here. People will say, oh, it's the force and this and that. Yes. They were not selling the cocoa inside Nigeria. They were exporting, even in the raw form. And the amounts that kept coming back, they were able to do some of their projects. They were not selling uh, uh, palm oil inside Nigeria. They were not selling granite inside Nigeria. But now we know we can have value addition. We can even earn more. That is the solution to our economic challenges that we are faced with. We must be productive and we must export. Our industries must be geared towards exports.
Oil alone cannot uh, solve this problem for us. So clearly, there's a lot more that needs to be done as we continue to support the local government in Oyo State. There are still so many inner roads that will still need to be constructed. We commissioned the first set of uh, about 40 kilometers in Ibada in July, and we have an outstanding of about 60 kilometers to go in this first set. And when we leave Ibada, we have to go to other zones. I read comments when I post anything. I know Ogumasho people, they're asking me, uh, all the inner routes in Ogumasho, they are all bad. We have to go there. We have to go to Oyo. Okay, Ogun, Ani Barakwa. So rest assured, we will continue to seek innovative ways to collaborate with the local government administration to the benefit of the good people of Oyo State. If I continue talking, they will say, look, she is still hungry about uh, him not uh, having access to local government money. So I'm going to stop here now. <laughs> so on that note, we will proceed to commission this local government service commission and staff pension board buildings to the glory of God and for the benefit of the good people of your state. Thank you and God bless you. Hello. Thank you, Excellency. All dignitaries on white chairs, please join the governor. All dignitaries on white chairs. Dignitaries on white chairs. Engineer Aji Shafe, please join. Topo Awata wa lori agafufun. Awon ori adeni. Awon members esko ni. Awon service commanders ati awon alashe ti local government. If you are sitting on a white chair, please join the governor. Uh, to the glory of God and for the benefit of the good people of Oyo State, this local government service commission building. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This local government house was constructed and commissioned by me, the executive governor of York State. Today, Wednesday, 2nd October 2024, to the glory of God and for the use of humanity.